Using a good crosshair can improve your aim. If you have a hard time finding the perfect crosshair, well look no further as I will be showing you 10 pro crosshairs that you need to try. Before I show you the crosshairs, I do have to say that crosshairs are personal preferences, just like any CS2 customizations and settings. You will have to try them out for yourself and pick the one that suits you. <laughs> that felt good. To show you the pro crosshairs, I will be using the crosshair workshop map made by Crash. Here's a quick tutorial how to get that Crash crosshair workshop map. When you open the game, hit play. Then you're going to hit the workshop maps tab. And then it says you're not subscribed to any maps. Click the bottom left where it says visit workshop. The Steam browser pops up with the workshop map. Scroll down and Crash's crosshair generator should be on the front page. Hit plus. If it's not, you can just type in Crash and then it should be here. Hit the plus sign. And if you can't find it, I'll link it down below in the description. Then hit escape. So the map is now in your workshop maps. Click on it, then hit go. Keep it casual, then hit go again. And then the map is going to load up now. Once the map loads up on your server, go ahead and pick a side. It does not matter which side, I'm gonna choose T. Immediately you spawn in and you see a bunch of different crosshair settings. Before you go ahead and change any of these settings, I need you to go ahead and open up your settings yourself and you're going to save your crosshair. So go to settings menu, and then go to game, scroll all the way down where it says share or import. Click on copy your code and open up a Word document and make sure you save it because currently the map does not have a way to restore your current crosshair. Before I show you these pro crosshairs, we are going to take a look at some of these customizations. So you go ahead and shoot at what you want to change. So the top row is the crosshair color. All right. And then we've got the crosshair type. So you can see that if I move, my crosshair moves, if I shoot, it moves. Static is the same. Hybrid is only when you're shooting, it changes. All right. And then now we're going to look at the crosshair itself. We could change the length of the crosshair. As you can see, it gets bigger with the length, the thickness of the crosshair. And then we can make the gap bigger. You can increase the outline, make it darker. You could have a dot in the middle. You could change the shape and have it missing the top for the T-shape. And then if we go over here, you could change the brightness, so the alpha of it. And then you can have the split ratios, the split distance, the inner split alpha. These are get complicated. I really don't really mess with these. And then we go over here, you could change your HUD colors, crosshair thickness for the sniper scopes and then if you want different crosshairs for different weapons so if i want let's say my pistol to be different as you can see my pistol can be different from the fire warning and then the show target id if you don't want to mess with any of these settings and you just want to use what the pros use just go ahead and use this wall here so you can see all the teams listed here and then the players under the team just to let you guys know some of these crosshairs might not be the most updated as pros are always constantly changing their crosshair settings regardless it's still a good reference of what crosshair and types of pros are using as you can see if i shoot the box of the pro player name then i get that pro player crosshair so you can see there's a lot of crosshairs unfortunately i can can only show off 10 and the easiest way is to go from left to right the first pro crosser we're going to look at belongs to zai Wu, one of the best players in the game his role is an opper but despite being so he is still one of the best riflers in the scene i forgot to mention that if you go out this door you could test out your crosser on these certain maps on these bots to get a better look at how your crosser fits you're going to see that most of these pros prefer smaller crossers because it is easier to get headshots with and you get more precise shots a big crosser covers a lot of the screen especially in long range me personally these smaller crossers are so hard to to see i'm like squinting to see them the next crosshair we're going to look at belongs to nico who has the title of the best csgo rifler ever when it comes to rifling one of nico's greatest strengths is his ability to tap and get headshots this crosshair helps out a lot because look at the size of it as well as the shape it fits perfectly on the head one thing to note that i forgot to mention is that when you're trying out these pro crosshairs 
they could look different in your game because you might be playing at a different resolution. Crosshairs have different sizes at different resolutions. I'm recording in native 1920 by 1080. Speaking of native resolution, 6 Sex player plays on native, which is Rops. Rops uses a really small crosshair and he uses the color yellow and you can see the shape is much different than the other two that I showed so far. Rops' aim is incredibly insane. He's a very mechanically gifted player. Next up is Rops' teammate Twist, who is undoubtedly NA's best aimer of all time. Twist's aim is so nasty, and if we look at his crosshair, it's static, small, green. Like I said earlier, these smaller crosshairs are made to get that precise aim. So in the hands of these pro players, they are deadly. As you saw from the beginning clip, Simple was using a dot. The one that's preset here in the crosshair map is a hybrid where if you shoot, you can see that the crosshair moves. And if you're just moving around, the crosshair is not going to move. Let's talk about dynamic crosshairs in general. They're helpful for newer players that are just starting out because you get to learn the accuracy and spray patterns in CS2. Whether you're shooting or moving around, majority of pros don't need this because they already have the weapon spray pattern memorized. So you will see them with a static crosshair, meaning it doesn't move. Dynamic can also be distracted but you will also see a couple pros using dynamic its personal preference at the end of the day and if we look at simple's teammate bit who has the highest headshot percentage out of all pro players he has this very small crosshair static and it's very little bit brighter here and it's really good at hitting headshots let's look at axel's crosshairs one of the best csgo riflers in 2022 this crosshair has a dot in the middle of the crosshair an advantage of using a dot with the crosshair is that you could get higher accuracy because it's easier to hit these really long range shots and having a dot in the middle is like a cheat code right guys you're automatically going to get the headshot if you put the dot on the middle of the head right in the end of it, it's just there to indicate that it's the middle of your screen. A disadvantage of using a dot is possibly losing the vision of the dot in like a more chaotic gunfight. Axile's teammate Hobbit, very unique crosser in the sense that it is big. So you can see far distance wise, it's really hard to put it on the head. This is a disadvantage of big crosshairs. However, one advantage is that if you're up close, look how big the crosshair is. It is easy to put it on the body or even the head. And remember guys, size doesn't matter. It's how you use it that's important. So we're gonna look at the dot crosshair and one player that uses the dot is Krasnell. If you wanna be accurate, the dot crosshair will give you the ability to do so. You can guarantee first bullet accuracy with this. Another advantage of using the dot is it's really good at long range. Being up close, you don't have too much room for air since the crosshair is too small compared to the one that we just saw from Hobbit. I've also heard many people say that using the dot crosshair can be a lot harder to spray with as well. Lastly, we're going to take a look at Kinder's crosshair. He does use a lighter and thinner crosshair, which you could be easier to see the head of the opponents. Yekinder, when he's on his game, is arguably the best entry fragger in the world. You're going to hear this one last time from me. Remember, play with what you are comfortable with. It's all personal preference. If you find this guide helpful, give it a like. Comment down below what type of crosshair you're using and what you prefer. And make sure to subscribe as I will be putting out more CS2 guides. See you guys in the next one.